what's a common problem you see that even though you see it a lot, it's hard to find the root cause. Okay, so first off, if it's something that I see a lot, I just write utilities so that I can see it more quickly. And they're not hidden secret utilities. Every troubleshooting script and utility that I write, I make part of the first responder kit. So it's open source so that everybody can go track these problems down quicker. I'm not really interested in job security. There's more than enough work for me to handle going forward. Um, so the stuff that I see a lot, if I see a problem two or three times, I just write it into the first responder kit. Sometimes, even if I only see it once, if it's something that I am, I'll give you a classic example. I have a client that brings me on site every year uh, during their peak loads. And while that happens, I see a lot of cool things in SQL Server that I would never normally get the chance to see. So because of that, and I can reproduce it right then and there under a load. So because of that, I'll usually just add a bunch of things to the first responder kit that I see live on their servers, even though I may never see it again. I think it's just cool, and I think that somebody else will probably see it. So the answer that you're looking for, though, is stuff that's hard to find the root cause of. I'll tell you what it would be for me is availability group failovers. Now, I don't do availability group work. I haven't done availability group work in like 10 years because it's a giant pain in the butt. Microsoft isn't building easier troubleshooting materials for availability groups. In fact, AGs have only gotten more complex with the advent of AGs on Linux, clusterless AGs, uh, distributed AGs, contained availability groups. Microsoft keeps stacking on features, but they don't make troubleshooting any easier. So after an unexpected failover happens, answering the question of, why did it happen sucks. Often it's things like, well, you had an AG time, a lease timeout. And somebody says, why did we have a lease timeout? I can't tell you. I can't tell you if a network was congested at a particular point in time, if one of the SQL servers happened to drop offline in terms of a network issue, if there was a cloud network failure, <clears throat> if there was a temporary failure to see the quorum disk, if the quorum disk actually went offline as opposed to us being unable to see it. Doing that kind of root cause troubleshooting is a giant pain in the rear. But then again, that's also why I got out of the availability group business. I don't see 